What's up guys? Um, this is Thrill Destination and today we're here at SeaWorld Orlando. I actually went here last July as well, but obviously Icebreaker wasn't open, so we're here to check that out, which is over there. And um, it's my first time uh, filming uh, a video here at SeaWorld, so it's gonna be a fun day, get back on Mako and all those other great rides. All right, I just got off of Manta, the B&M flying coaster. And wow, that was a lot better than I remembered. I sat in the back, so intense. The pretzel loop's absolutely amazing. Um, it's still not quite as good as Tatsu, but it's closed the gap on it for sure. Um, and, and it's one of the best flying coasters in the, in the US. Very fun ride here at SeaWorld. No, no question about that. All right, so I'm currently marathoning Mako uh, because for some reason it has no weight. It's one of my favorite roller coasters I've ever ridden, to be honest with you. It's, it's just as good as I remember. Um, easily, and, and my favorite being a hyper, for sure. Um, the airtime is so sustained. Um, it, whips, it, it goes through the layout pretty fast compared to the other ones. And there's just so many moments, great moments on this ride. Um, this is gonna be my fourth ride on it already. And it's literally like, in the span of like 10 minutes. So, come down to SeaWorld Orlando, spend a day here, and just get 20 plus rides on this thing. You won't regret it whatsoever. All right, we are on our way to the all new icebreaker and we're gonna give it our first ride. Haven't ridden it, obviously. Uh, last time in July, I didn't even check out the area because I didn't want to get upset that it wasn't open, but here we go. Icebreaker for the first time. And we'll obviously review it when we get off and let you know what we think. All right, so I just got off Icebreaker in the back and the front row, decided to get two rides on it with no weight at all as it's not very crowded here whatsoever. And that's a really, really, really more intense ride than I expected and I really liked it. Number two in the park behind Mako. The whip, it's better in the back. The back row on the airtime hills, like in between the launches, you just get a huge jolt. And then the, the top hat is absolutely crazy. Um, overall, it's it's gotta be my top 35 to 40 for sure and honestly, one of the one of the best premier definitely the best premier rides coaster I've ridden. We just did Infinity Falls, and it's the ride that always has a long wait, probably the longest wait in the whole park. And it's always broken down, but and I'm pretty sure it actually just broke down while we're on this uh, this uh, this lift back to the station. But yeah, it's a pretty cool ride. We rode it back in July, and it was it's, it was fun. But yeah. All right, so I just wanted to update how the day is going. It it just turned noon, I believe. It's like 12, 12, 10, 12, 15, something like that. And we've already gotten like 10 rides on Mako. Um, it's just getting better and better. Still a, a really good ride. We're heading over to Kraken and Journey to Atlantis. We've already gotten so many rides today. Four on Icebreaker, 10 on Mako, and then one on Manta. And they're all great. And so far, very chill day, great day. We're about to ride Kraken. The new, or the, um, it got just repainted to mint green. And it used to be like, bluish like kind of teal and uh i'll let you know if it changed at all the ride experience is probably similar but i will review it when i get off okay i just rode kraken um which i like i said recently got repainted and i i like the colors it's probably a little bit better than what it was but the ride is kind of felt rougher than i remembered it even though it's not that rough but yeah it's still 
probably one of my favorite foilless coasters, if not my favorite, because it's got some good good elements. Like the zero G roll is really good, but uh, overall, fun ride. One of the better foilless coasters in the U.S. No, no question about that. So we just got off of Journey to Atlantis, which is like a half roller coaster and half half like log flume, and it, it's. I mean, I've always liked it. This is uh, I. This is my second time riding it in the past eight months, and it was a, it's fun, but it also is weird, if that, if that makes sense. But I really do like it, and uh, I do think it counts as a credit, but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. It's one of the coolest water rides I've ridden, though, for sure. icebreaker off in the distance about to go get another ride we just uh yeah we went to a little dolphin exhibit it was really cool but yeah it's such a nice charming park really having a good day here so far all right guys that'll do it here for our day at SeaWorld orlando we got over 30 total rides tons on mako and icebreaker overall it was a great day great really fun park really like coming here uh, Mako still in my top 15 and Icebreaker is a great ride as well. So is Manton Kraken. Really good rides. Great park overall. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.